So normally I'm talking about fashion and luxury and mostly handbags, but today I wanted to discuss a fashion trend that I was never one to um, really want to get on board with um, in the beginning, and I still really don't. And that fashion trend, which seems to be growing, um, is athleisure wear. Oh my God, so can we just, um, can we slow our roll on the athleisure wear? Please, please, I'm begging you to, the reason why I am hating this trend so much is because people are, they've taken it, um, I think in the wrong context. Okay, completely wrong context. And I want to, I guess, share with you and explain to you what athleisure wear was meant to be, um, not what social media, TikTok, and Instagram have been showing us by teens and 20-somethings what athleisure wear should be. So before I get into everything that is wrong with this out of control trend, um, let's start with at first um, what it was really meant to be. And if you look up what leisure wear is meant to be, it is informal clothing meant to be worn when you are not working. And that is like the dictionary definition. Now, athletic wear, as we know, is for, that's attire that you wear while you are working out, exercising, at the gym, doing yoga, doing Pilates, whatever it is you do, okay? Now, the two of them have come together. It's like athletic wear and leisure wear came to form a really bizarre baby. Now, before those of you that love athleisure wear get really mad, let me just say, I'm not saying that everyone needs to stop wearing it, or if you're wearing athleisure wear, you shouldn't be, or you're a horrible person because you wear athleisure wear. I guess my purpose of this is to help people learn exactly what athleisure wear is and how it truly looks out in public, okay? There's nothing wrong with it if you do it correctly. Again, we have athletic wear and leisure wear. Okay, now leisure wear is not ripped up t-shirts, torn up jeans, sweats, hoodies. That's not leisure wear, okay? So to me, if you are wearing true athleisure wear, you are wearing something that looks like you know, you put it together. You actually took some time, some thought, and you know, you want to be fashionable, but you still want to be comfortable, right? So it's something that you mindfully put together. And you know, of course, it's, it's you know, you want to be comfortable, you want to move around, but it's also something that you can wear outside the home, okay? So the true athleisure wear is clothing that you can wear out grocery shopping or having lunch or maybe even having dinner, going to the spa or traveling. Um, a pet peeve of mine is when people take um, flying and traveling um, to the um, comfort extreme and they are literally wearing their pajamas on the plane and their slippers and their I'm sorry, but I feel like people should still have some, I guess, self-respect and care, care about how we actually look. It's not that we're dressing for other people, because you may say, well, Laura, I don't care what other people think. I want to be comfortable. But what you wear also kind of tells other people a little bit about yourself and who you are and what you think of yourself. Now, when I see somebody in dirty, wrinkly, you know, whatever clothes, I look at them and say, well, you know, you, 
less not care about yourself very much. You obviously don't like to take care of yourself. Um, you know, we just, I think some people just need to have some self-respect. And, okay, so before I go down a rabbit hole, let me start with saying, okay, that, yes, I get that there's busy moms with kids and there's just busy people, period, and they're like, you know what, I don't have time, I want to be comfortable, I need to run around, I've got a million things to do, I get it, but your only option of attire is not a sports bra and leggings and showing your belly and everything else to the world. That is, to me, there's other options you can still wear, still be comfortable, move around, and still look decent. I can't tell you how many times I have been in public. I have been even in restaurants eating dinner and there will be someone wearing a sports bra and leggings and tennis shoes. I'm eating dinner. I really don't want to see your cleavage and I don't need to see every shape of your body. I just really don't. I must think it's kind of inconsiderate of people to do that. It's, it's almost like either you're saying, um, I'm trendy and I'm fashionable, or um, I'm just too important to care about the way I look. I, I'm not sure, but um, I, I think what has really run this into the um, close to athleisure wear to almost branch wear is a lot of these like the, I'm sorry, but the Haley Bieber's and the Kylie Jenner's who are running around all day in nothing but sports bras and super tight leggings. Now I know because it's Hailey Bieber or another, um, you know, Victoria's Secret, you know, model who's wearing this stuff, it, you, it, 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 it must be okay. And I want to wear that too because Gigi Hadid is wearing it or whatever else. Um, no. Just because something can be done doesn't mean it should be done, okay? And first of all, these models are wearing their athleisure wear all the time because they're working out all the time to remain the toothpick size that they are. Let's just separate this because there are examples like this just aren't things to be worn out and about while you're shopping, while you're eating dinner, eating lunch, whatever you're doing, going to PTA meetings. You don't need to be wearing this. Things that I have seen out there are truly um, shocking. I have seen, um, mm -hmm. I'm going to touch on some very, a very sensitive subject right now. And that is when you're wearing leggings, ladies, um, or tights, you may not realize it, but you have a issue going on that nobody wants to see this, okay? Nobody wants to see no. It's nasty. We don't want to see it. Again, especially when you're in a restaurant, we don't want to see that, okay? We don't. Um, the other thing is when um, your leggings or tights are um, very sheer. Um, I don't know if it's because of the quality or just because I don't know. But a lot of you are running around in very sheer uh, tights and you're not looking in the mirror. <sighs> and we can see. Everything. No, we can see everything. No. It is so tacky. It, it's just tacky. Just don't. Again, I'm not saying this because, you know, of, of size or shape or anything. I have seen women with, you know, gorgeous bodies, beautiful long legs, whatever. And it's like, oh, girl, oh, girl. 
oh my god you can't unsee some of that stuff you just so we also don't need to see muffin tops just i get um sometimes you have just worked out and you need to go to the grocery store or wherever else you're going and you're wearing your gym clothes well you know is it too much to maybe just you should probably just throw something on um just to you know cover stuff up it's just it's not it, it's just not very um i guess ladylike it, it's it's not very classy it's um again i don't care if you're in your 20s and your body is perfect it's just not it's not right it's just not right um and, and and again every every shape size age whatever can wear athleisure wear i just think there's a point where you need to say mm, no and i see young you know i see some of these really young teenagers even they're wearing this stuff and it's like you know people wonder where you know body image um you know gets so mixed up and they then they their self-esteem goes down and they they just start you know wanting to be skinny like these victoria's secret models who are running around in their little tights um you know people start body shaming themselves and and you know it wasn't up until recently that these athletic companies um started actually using um, women in their ads that were of you know normal normal women um which i think is great i just want to reiterate ladies that some of the things that are out there just are not they're not doing you justice um if anything they're they're not making you look very good for those of you who may have been guilty of this i don't know but of course there are examples of athleisure wear now that we are going to get into that is is true athleisure wear still very comfortable still very stylish um now here's some examples and one of the things that i think are much better than leggings if i see another pair of leggings oh my god i swear to god if i could count the number of leggings i see in a day it's So one option is, okay, the boot cut Fonte um, pants, leggings, yoga pants, whatever you want to call them. They are truly more of a pant um, and they have like a slight boot cut, which I think is flattering on everybody. You still look casual, like, well, maybe I just left yoga and, you know, I'm going to go get a latte. So you could still look, um, you know, tasteful. Um, maybe have on a, you know, a, a lightweight top, perhaps. Or if you are wearing your sports bra, maybe you throw on just a lightweight zip-up jacket. Um, you can also, if you're going out and about for shopping or for dinner, you can also wear like a nice coat, maybe a little scarf accessorize with your jewelry um and you know be mindful of makeup and hair if everything's put together you can be wearing athleisure wear and still look very tasteful and i think classy and if it's cooler weather where you're at um for the season you can wear like maybe just cashmere or you know maybe a fleece or just something fun um, let's stay away from the pullovers and the hoodies. Okay, let's, let's, no, no, no more hoodies. Okay, please. Um, and the other thing is if you're in warmer weather like I am here now, um, you know, you can go for like maybe the, um, like an A-line uh, golf or tennis type sport because I like those because they are the skirts, but they also have, the little shorts built in so you don't have to worry you know if you're out and about getting in and out of a car or anything like that don't afford to show or anything um and there's also really i think nice uh 
dresses as well. You know, there's nothing wrong with an athleisure dress. I think those are much more um, tasteful than someone wearing their leggings and a, and a bra top. And it's just bad, bad. Um, and some people have the misconception that if they wear the tight leggings, it's going to slim them down and make things look smaller. Um, no, that is not the case. It does not do that. Um, in fact, it, it tends to show um, absolutely everything. Yeah, it, it just shows everything. So my advice would be to wear more of a pant. Um, they also have lightweight pants, but you know, there's, or opt to not wear athleisure wear. There's plenty of clothes out there that are um, I think very comfortable. There are a lot of um, denim that has some spandex in it, which makes it a little stretchy and easy to move about in if you're getting in and out of a vehicle or running a million errands. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of options out there. I just, I just think that we have, um, we've taken this to a bad extent. And I think that's why athleisure wear has gotten such a bad rap because you have people running around in just, they, it seems to me that anything from a bra to slippers to joggers and track suits are now considered athleisure wear. Other thing I wanted to touch on was um, people wearing the athleisure wear. Okay, they, um, they think that a running workout shoe is considered part of the athleisure wear outfit, which it is not, okay? True athleisure wear, you want to be wearing a street style sneaker, okay? There's a gazillion of them out there, so you won't have a hard time finding them, okay? Normally, they are um, leather or have leather accent on them. Um, you know, they're, they're out there in all kinds of price ranges, just depending on what price range you want to be in. Gucci makes them, JJ makes them, McQueen, everybody makes a street style sneaker. And you can be, you can be comfortable. There's plenty of comfortable clothes out there, guys. There's plenty. Um, ju you just have to look and be mindful of what you are shopping for rather than throwing on whatever is in your closet, sweats, whatever, and calling it athleisure wear because it's just not. And it's been, it's been annoying me for a very long time now and I just had to get that off. I've told you guys before about trends and not necessarily following trends. Don't ever feel like you have to follow a trend. Okay, because there's a lot of trends out there and a lot of people aren't even wearing them. So don't worry about it, okay? It, it's just, don't worry. You don't need to follow trends. But if it's a trend you are following and that you want to follow, I hope a few of these tips helped you and reminded you that, um, you know, we don't want to go for athleisure launch. We just want, you know, athleisure wear done in a nice, classy, tasteful way I do want you guys to look good as well as feel good. Let me know what you guys think about athleisure wear um, in the comments below. If you would, if you are in the same mindset of me, I mean, are you getting tired of seeing people running around partially naked or not? I don't know. Um, but if you also like this type of video, um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will be doing many more videos on... Um, fashion, handbags, shoes, you name it. <sighs> Sorry that I had to be a little candid and forward with you guys, but I had to tell you guys and let you know, and for those of you who may be doing this, maybe now you know, I hope this helped you out. I really do. I will be seeing you guys again soon in another video, and until next time, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye.